Ever since the Nurse nerf that took away her range and recharge add-ons, there has been a debate on whether Blight is strong enough to become the new number one. This is the battle for the throne of the strongest killer in Dead by Daylight. To compare them, I invited some of DBD's best tournament players to find out which one is stronger at the highest level. Playing the Nurse, we have Laser from Team Singularity, an extremely consistent Nurse player with excellent game sense. Our Blight player is Virtual Reality, the undisputed best Blight within the comp scene that also plays for Singularity. For Survivor, we have Team Eternal, who have dominated the competitive scene for a while, consistently getting the best results as a Survivor team. In total, we are going to be testing three different settings. First up, Gashaven with up to green add-on rarity and a few perk restrictions. After that, no add-ons at all on Cold Tower. And to end it off, we are going all out on Dead Talk Saloon with no restrictions at all. I hope you enjoy. All right, and there we go. Actually, Virtual is using Compound. He's not using double speed, interesting. I mean, it's a very strong perk. Usually it's banned in the comp setting because it's just way too strong. And yeah, like the nurse doesn't have to predict, she knows everything. One hack deck. No, he's faking it. Oh, that was insanely well played by Nightlight. He blocked the collision from the Blight. Oh my god, what you guys saw in those 10 seconds was so many high level mind games that a newcomer would probably not even notice. Nightlight is delaying incredibly well here. He's honestly, he should have been dead five times over. And yeah, well, if you have compound, you can't hide in that corner. Very well played. Nice. Let's look at the gen progress. Okay, one duo gen. Pops, one solo gen just started. This is generally the meta against top tier killers. You want to do one duo gen. And ideally, you pop that gen before the first chase starts. That was a very good chase by Nightlight. Nah, there's no way he gets that. But you're kind of going for it there. Did not work out. He doesn't have Brutal anymore. He has Barbecue and Chili, which is kind of an adaptation to the bigger map. You don't need Brutal as much anymore to, for zoning reasons. And we want to get him out. That is off the record, though. You can see no R from Compound 21. Gonna make it a little bit harder. He's gonna drop this, obviously. And this is probably where he doesn't have anything anymore. This is where Blight becomes too strong. Yep, Virtual is playing it incredibly safe. Yeah, and the setting for the Anok right here. Wait, he did not get... No, he didn't even Anok, did he? Didn't get deliverance. And now he's trying to get it. Oh! The compound proc? What? Did he not see it? Oh, that was an insane hit. So Dan wants to go down for him, so he makes absolutely sure he gets deliverance. So that Nightlight survives for the 12 seconds that it takes. And looks like he gets main building now. Very nice. So how much is that worth though? Oh well. Off the record actually. Oh yeah, yeah, true, true, true. He protected the off of the record with the second hit. Very nice. And that is a very good filler palette. Let's see what Nightlight can do here. Oh, Nightlight is dying under the pallet so his teammate can save him. And now, there's probably some sprint buster sitting in the corner behind some random bush. And now it's the time for Virtual to find them. This is a very annoying situation. As oftentimes, this buys way more time. Yep, see? Like, I was literally right. This buys way more time than Nightlight could in a chase. Because Blight is so strong in chase. That dying under the pallet and letting your teammates do the work is just better. Oh, what? Insane play by Virtual. In the end of the lunch, he cannot uh, break pallets anymore. And at that point, it's very easy to hit the survival set. Very good early hit there. And Zaka is trying to do everything to not allow the tunnel up. We're looking at one gen left already. Ooh, very nice block. This They bought so much time here. They bought so much time. Could be a drop. Damn. Oh. Perfect. He didn't even collide, so there's nothing he can do. Force fatigue. The teamwork is coming in clutch. And again, they they're forced to take uh, to hit him. 
And I think this is where everyone is injured and he can actually focus on Nightlight. The teamwork we have on this is insane. This is what only the best teams can do. No one else can do this. This is not something you see in your normal matches. Oh wait, he's actually taking the... Is he giving up on the timeout? He has barbecue and chill. Yeah, he's giving up on the timeout. He says it's too late. I'm not gonna interrupt gens anymore. Oh, the gen failed! He's gonna take the pop and try to play uh, against four people. But this is already kind of a conceit. He's like saying, I'm not gonna kill anyone. I'm just gonna play Fox. I just... I, I cannot get one out and still control the gens. So Unbreakable is obviously already this. And everyone is injured. So he can still snowball to some degree. They're probably gonna reset now. Yep. Somewhere in the corner on the edge of the map. <gasps> the clan has been found. Oh, that was so risky. I bet. Oh! Good dead help by Zaka though. He breaks, breaks it back. Like the dead kit, med kit, like more often than not, what you see in comp matches, if the med kit has DS, uh, dead heart and, uh, for the people. It's like the most common scenario. The meta loadout, if you want to call it. Okay. Interesting. Oh, night has been found. Imagine it hits. But the thing is... Uh... Uh, it's good prediction. I think Nightlight is on balance, right? And we can see the counter to the crotch stack against Blight. Yeah, it's not that perfect. Like, you can try it, obviously. Like, there's nothing else you can do here. Nightlight Night is completely zoned. Might as well try it. But if you hack the survivor and you look down, you will actually hit them. Nice try, though. Very well played by Nightlight. Holy shit. He delayed so long. He didn't even have balance. He didn't use his exhaustion pack once. That was pure chase skill. That whole time. But it looks like... Oh, oh my god. He can hold gens again. Alright, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen now. Can they actually do this? Does Dan get enough chase in item? No way. Do they get the gen done though? I think they do. Oh my god. That gen is going to pop. Virgin knows if he stops this gen, he's going to win. But he's not going to stop anymore. Yep. And that's an adrenaline, if I'm not mistaken. No hit too. Oh, they're both still there. Does he find him? No, he doesn't know. Zaka here with Medkit. No, they're both for help. Now it's gonna be really, really difficult. So Axis has been hooked already. So like in the comp, like you, you want to get as many hook stages as you can. And in that scenario, this is like, Axis is probably the person you don't wanna go for here. But the thing about Dan is he has deliverance. So in that case, ah, uh, uh, you might want to go for him. The thing is, Excise cannot deliver once here. And that's what Virtual knows. Is Zach on this one? Yes, he was. He knows. Nice. Free tag. And now both are injured. What's going to happen here? Dan is going for the pick. Ooh, he doesn't have much here, does he? Zaka wants to go to a locker desperately. If he finds a locker, he's gonna go in. He's gonna go into the locker. No, he doesn't make it. Interesting. This is not looking bad. Ooh! He's been found! Access has been found. He tried to stealth it out. Oh my god. Nah, dude. Is he actually gonna snowball this all the way? There's no one back anymore. I think that's it. I think it's actually a fuck, eh? Damn. What a snowball. Wait, can he get the pick? No. He crawled. Zaka's trying to crawl, but this is gonna be too late, isn't it? What? What? Healing hitboxes? Oh my god, sorry, I was not expecting him. Okay, healing hitboxes happened. <laughs> oh, Zaka dished! Nah, dude, what? Oh my god. Two people back up. 
You had him. But he can't get your light. The pickup is coming through on Exile. Bro. This is the kind of thing I think with double speed you can do it. With with only one it's kind of rough. Exile goes to the corner. Is he actually going to concede this? Yep. No. Virtual does not want Exile. If you take Exile, you're looking at seven stages, I think. Ooh. Not done, not done. Then it's gonna go locker, right? No. <laughs> he's not in the locker. Wait, well, he's behind the locker. Well, you got the baited heart. Confess, nice. That's why he was walking. Oh, and the other two out. Damn, dude. Okay, Dan is about to bleed out. The thing is, so Virtual needs to force the other two out before I can hook him to outplay Deliverance. Wow, what an incredible game. Itaro played out of their mind protecting Nia with pallet saves and body blocks while still being gen efficient. Thanks to the hitboxes while healing, the survivors got an insane comeback going and in the end Virtual got 8 stages and 2 kills total. Next up our nurse player Laser needs to see how he can handle the huge map Gashaven. Laka on the deli and ooh. Would you look at this? So what laser went for? Wait, why is the tooth? So so we have the mangan add-on. Okay, you can see Dan goes extremely aggressively on gens. While the other three hide. So they absolutely want to force the chase on the person that had that that had yes. Laser's looking. Yeah, fine. That's the plan of the of the team. And it looks like it's working. Nice, fast bling, instant. I mean, what? Ooh, that is lucky break too. Bro, that's an evil build. Oh, he didn't quite recharge the second blink. It's a little bit bugged, but this should be down, right? Oh, he got that hard off. And this is where not having recharge hurts a lot, by the way. And you see the confusion of the lucky break. This is a very, very evil tactic, yeah? Like, stack everything on one player. Do a gen completes. Solo gen 50, he took over the gen. And yeah, this guy's lucky break. DS dead hard. Yeah, well, good luck timing that guy out. That's not going to be easy. Zaka being the deli player, he's stealthing around the hook. Pretending to be a tire. And... You see, Laser's kind of looking for the person that's surfing. Ooh, is he gonna see him? Yes! No hit though. Sprinter's coming in. He can get the trade. Yep, this is a trade. Actually, the reason why Laser knew the Fang was around was the surprise perk pick. Bitter Murmur gave Fang's position away, giving Laser an insane start to the game. Okay. So laser realize, okay, this is this is high level by the way. Laser realized what's going on, like why everyone was staffing and one guy was doing gens, and he's not tunneling him out. He would rather tunnel this guy out, because then he doesn't have to bother with DS. Uh, he kind of have gens on this side a little bit, but this is gonna be a rough one. So Dan is fully healed, and he's just controlling now. Oh, what is crack blink? He's going for it. And Zaka obviously uses this time to Kobe away. This is probably light, right? And Axa is going all the way to the corner, away from the gens. They're, they're hard working the gens inside the gen lock. That is a co op by Shaq. And this is on the other side of the map from by main. Okay. So you can. Okay, you can kind of see, still see the pattern. So um, Dan is working the gen inside the gen lock. And they kind of want to chase, like, force him to be the next one to be chased. Oh, this stuff has been found. No way. By the way, this doesn't give mangoes. 
So as a nurse player, you kind of want to right now. What you kind of want to do, I think, is you want to blink on on the spot to get mangled on the guy, right? I think that's how. But like, it's obviously not in people's head yet. And the guy's still on the hook. Ooh. Ooh. Well, this is interesting. I am pretty sure this guy's gonna go second now. Wait, what? Did you hear him? Oh, what a find! Swim first. He's gonna reset the blink. But then needs to go all the way across the map now. For the sunhook. This is a one blink. x goes second anyway. No way. Yeah, he does. Ooh, this is horrible for this virus. Not quite. Okay. He's gonna confirm the second stage too, probably. Why not? Like at this point, we're looking at uh, two people death hook and two fast hooks. Nurse is calling. The add on coming in hot. Oh, because of the shadow. Did you guys see that? He saw the shadow reappear like literally a moment before he was going into fatigue. That's why he took the blink. Like, shadows are a massive advantage on us. So, Zaka's death hook. Nightlight Dan, first sock. And we're gonna reset, reset Exiles. What are the gents looking like? Alright, Dan is just chilling in a locker. So, they're pretty much resetting the pressure here and letting them reset without getting into chase. Oh, dude. Yeah. Do I really right? <laughs> so. He's pretending. Zaka pretended that there was a teammate around, but in reality, there isn't. But Laser's not taking the bait. This is going straight on the hook. Oh, it's looking rock. rough. This shit is gonna pop. Oh, the crow flies up. He knows. He knows. And he's getting one blink. This is going to be so hard to get away from. S pixel coming out. This is a dead heart, but we're looking at Gas Haven. The problem with the big maps is like, good luck doing anything in chase. I think he doesn't have two blinks. He does. Good throw back by Dan, though. Nice. Yeah, there's no way you can dodge that one. Let's look at what the survivors are doing. So, they're splitting two different gens. This gen is 50 already. Where's Laser bringing him? Very close to this gen. On the hill, this is perfect for him. Hill hooks are obviously the best for killers. Uh, super high visibility, checkable from everywhere. Uh, taking a stagger down a hill is uh, detrimental against the nurse. So, if you get a hill hook, I always take it. Ooh. Nice. That's probably Lithe, right? From Nightlight? I would imagine. He's gonna get a lot of distance, but... Oh, well. It's Gas Haven. What are you gonna do? There's just not much to play around. And I think Axis is gonna choose to pop the gem. Can he, though? Yep. Oh, I drowned! Well, what are you gonna do with this, though? Getting one blink. No matter what you do, you're gonna get blinked down. That's not that hard. So in the end, Nurse barely won this first set, thanks to the painful miss on the healing Jonah. Laser played amazingly well, utilizing his pocket park pick, Bitter Murmur, to its full potential. And Eternal did an outstanding job preventing Blight to tunnel the near out. Next up, we'll be playing on Cold Tower without any add-ons to see which killer has the better base kit. This should hurt Blight a lot, no speed means very limited anti-loop, while Nurse more or less stays the same. Looking, scouting the spawns. Ooh, he finds someone, but he can't connect that. You can already see, like, the, the lack of speed makes it this incredibly difficult for him. Quick and quiet on Exercise, interesting. Life, ball coming through. 
You see, Brutal is a very normal park for Blight in this setup because it allows him to zone way better. He cannot connect that combo. And Excess is probably going to stay here in the corrupted area. And Virtual is not going to get baited. This turned into a bad chase really quickly. And he found the duo gen. That's really good for him. Let's see. Can I do anything here? Very patient by Dan. So at this point, it's like he doesn't have the anti-looper speed. So he kind of needs to remove a few parts. He needs to create death zones. These people are too good. If you don't have speed and you don't have the anti-loop, then yeah, it's going to be really, really rough. Oh, nice. He got that hit on Zaka. He was trying to hide behind the gen, but to no avail. Oh, Excess is playing ace, so that's why. Okay. Ooh, Excess is getting gets on there. He's not gonna, Virtual is not gonna miss that. No way. But he makes it to Shaq, obviously. He's probably gonna drop it and see, right? Interesting. He uses his power here. He's not gonna make it. He's gonna block the dollar, right? Nice. Very safe plate. Is someone in that locker? No, right? Nah, no one in that locker. Right, that's a basement hook. Pretty good. Two gems pop. Does he have a three turn around this area? Not really, but it's a blight after all. Uh, this is playable. Not the best law. That is a fairly early down. He's, he's looking good for him. Yeah, no one on any of those gems. Okay, we saw scratch marks in that giant gem, and I'm sure Virtue saw it too. And someone is trying to get access out of this 3 then already. Early, early rescue, but you don't need to rotate two people over, so that is worth it. If they would have delayed it any further, Virtual would have just camped it. And then you would need two survivors to get the rescue. He's going for access again. Access doesn't make it anywhere. This is generally banned in every comp scenario. Let's see, what, what are the dents looking like? Okay. Looks like they're walking two gens, but the three gen is untouched. Nice. Nice try for, for, uh, to go for the attack deck. You need to look up on the top, by the way. If you look down, you can't attack it. Virtual knows that. Yeah, no deli. There's a two second window, by the way, where the killer will not get, uh, the survivor will not get deli. Because safe unlock is after 12 seconds. Base, time, base BT only lasts 10. In the comp scene, this is like kind of the meta by now like everyone learned this timing because it has a massive impact if the guy gets deliverance or not and if you if you know the two second timing yeah you can deny the deliverance which will be a massive advantage for them going into the next stage yeah they're gonna do a save this virtual is trying to block it oh. dan is trading okay Let's see. They definitely, definitely want that deliverance now. Okay, he's taking the hit, so... Dan is on the deli, right? I'm gonna check. Light activated. He makes it to the bot side of the map. But what can he do here? Oh, he doesn't have anything because the pallets are gone already. Nice. You see? Axis tried to crouch there to reduce his hitbox. Maybe the blight is gonna whiff. If you're out, of, out in the open, you might as well do that. There's no nothing else you can do. And it's a nice try. So Dan probably has Unbreakable, right? Yes. He's baiting the guy over with uh, Sprint Pass. So he doesn't interrupt the duo gen. This is the world purpose. Like, the reason why he didn't Unbreakable earlier is to bait the guy into a chase with him. He has... And now, Dan has Deliverance. So there's not really much pressure gained from the sock at all. That was a good bait by him. So this is the scenario where Blight really, really starts shining. Like, a lot of the pallets are gone. And he still has three gens that are kind of close together. And, like, there's nothing left. Like, if you look at this, there's literally no pallet at all anywhere close on this side to the, of the map. Literally. Yeah, and that one of the best places they can do is stealth. Just don't get into the into the chase at all. Well, that's what Nightlight is doing. Ooh. But he sadly got spotted. 
And now I have Sejuka nothing. I'm gonna guess Virtual is gonna go back. He still has pop. That's no real gen to kick though. He probably knows that Dan is about to hop off with Deliverance. No, he decides to leave him. Okay. Ooh, Zaka hard committed to one side, hoping that he's reading virtual movement right. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Does he get away though? The one thing, uh, Blight has insane synergy with any gen kick park because he can just kick gens while cooling down his rush ability and then he can go charge at survivors again. That's one of the kind of gimmicks that Blight has that really, really synergizes insanely well with the today's meta that is kind of gen kick focused. Anywhere. Oh, what a great juke. He was hiding that tree. He still has nothing. He's gonna zone him away from check window. And that's about it. But I'm just scared that the gents are gonna get done. I mean, both are injured here. Ooh, they're both here. They were greeting. They were hoping for the hook. Oh, great. He didn't have the rushes to uh, wait out there that hard. Well done by Zaka. Laying it to the last moment, but since he's pressuring both, there's really no reason to do anything, and there's no reason to allow the reset here. Nice, now that barely got the pallet, which is thanks for you a little bit there. Oh, Zaka's probably wanting to reset because he's the medkit player. Oh, he's forcing the pick. All right, to not allow the snowball on them, Zaka's is saying, Okay, I'm not gonna juke this, I'm not gonna allow him to slug, I'm gonna waste five more seconds and force him to pick me out of the locker, and that gives Nightlight enough time to pick up Dan. But it's gonna be incredibly hard to get more progress done. This is Botany second wind, interesting. This is the fourth people player, and Dan has inner strength, and he probably wants to proc right now. Ah, uh, this is incredibly hard. This is the kind of stalemate where Blight usually just starts winning, because they can't regain the health states as fast as they can lose them. That's pretty much the problem here. Bye bye, Nightlight. He tried to lock a juke him. There's nothing else to juke on on the side of the map. No. They want a bait chase on Dan and uh, Zaka's starting for the unlock. Yep. Happening. Oh, but Virtual reads it. What? Nice try. Dan crouching again to reduce the hitbox a little bit. Hoping that the killer would miss, but Virtual usually doesn't miss those. Zaka has been spotted. There's their heart. And the waiting game. Nice. Didn't take nine seconds this time. Very nice. Oh, he actually got flared. Nice. Then pretend to go into, around the corner and got wide. This is kind of like a 50 50 situation in that case. And the survivor won it. Uh, Dan can probably reset here, right? Does he have inner strength? He's probably looking for a totem, right? Oh. Uh, the thing is, they can't really let the pressure go off gens because they, they have two at like 50. And if they go back and reset, then Call of Brian is gonna end all of that gen progress. And Virtual is trying to see if someone is starting out and he found them. So Virtual kind of predicted the movement and that Dan would be hiding somewhere for the unhook. Yeah, this is a really, really rough dead zone for the Blight. Ooh, Dan is being caught. Oh, pellet safe, maybe? No, Nancy has been hard. Okay, now, now we have two. Oh, Nancy just won that dead hard. No way. That is the virtual attack, by the way. And Zaka just dodged it. You see how he just skipped the first rush? Incy went on the, uh, on the hack attack. Damn. Oh, what? Did you just predict the ward back? He might have heard the, the sound, though. Oh, okay, Nightlight trying to big brain it because Virtual is gonna go to the other gate now. But yeah, like, it's a blight. He has five rushes. And yeah, you can just check the other gate and then go back to that one in the same rush combination. Nightlight doesn't fall for anything though, and that's that's it though. One last juke attempt. Oh, Virtual missing the swing. T-Bag coming out. Oh my god. Okay. All right, GG's. Our Blight Virtual played this amazingly well. The amount of pallets on this cold tower were below average, and Brutus Strength really helped him to get rid of them quickly. 
I think this is an above average result. I would have expected a 2k. Let's see how our nurse does. Very similar builds. Oh, exercise. They switched though. They switched a little bit. So edgy. Uh, yeah, this is this is a very normal build. Edgy because hook placement is extremely important. All the kid uh, nurse cares about is gen placement. And hook placement. He's a very strong zone controller. Oh, right at top of the map. Let's see where everyone is. Oh, you're staffing right there. Main. And Zaka's taking the first chase. Let me guess. Zaka has... Yeah, Zaka has the build that wants to get chased. That is why Zaka is on the middle gen. That is kind of like the idea against Nas. Like, you stack some builds, and these builds are going to pressure the key gens. But as a killer, you don't really want to chase them first. Yes. That is Dan on the flashlight. Flashlights are kind of a little bit bugged. He decided this is not going to go anywhere and he's just going to die corner. Very nice. Uh, average first chase. A little bit, yeah. Agitation. He wants to carry him back into the map a little bit. Oak looks decent. That gen pops, which means I don't think he has a three name around this anymore, right? There's definitely a corp. He's expecting someone from the gen to win for the stealth. And that could be a good call. Oh, the Anok is coming through already. ET hit. And yeah. Is he gonna get? That looks like he's gonna get deliverance. Yeah, that is still a once, but he's gotta go down. But this is like, this is not bad because he died after 12 seconds. The guy got deliverance. Now he's going second. I don't think there's a gen lock around this area. And they're kind of like keeping this nurse on this side of the map. Does he make this? Oh, this is so risky. I think there's one block and it's out. So Laser's trying to counter this and getting the hook into a position where he can actually control gens. And he actually managed to do it. One boy block and would be out. But now we're looking at a four gen. And the survivor is inside the forge. <laughs> so the, the situation changed a lot. Yeah, now the situation definitely like went on its head. Applying pop. Dan can run back to the bottom of the map. That's what he's gonna do, and he's gonna die try to die in check again. So that and they are gonna try to bash out the gents now. Before Dan dies. Oh, that was so greedy by Dan. He wants to activate, obviously. No way. Okay. He bought a little bit of time. He's going to die now. Okay. The thing is, how much damage did we do? This gen is going to pop. Is main going to pop? This is the main question here. Does he still hold the three then? Oh, this is so close. I think he's going to pop in his face and die for it. If he gets this gen. Ooh. Oh my god, he got baited. Oh, he doesn't get it. Massive, massive. Pop applied. Full value and Call of Brian. Two people injured. Delhi's up. This is not looking bad. This is going to be interesting. Is, is Laser going to be able to hold this without add-ons? This is the Delhi player. Delhi Unbreakable. Whatever Laser does with this hook, it's not going to give him any pressure. This is this is the, the idea of Delhi Unbreakable. Whatever Laser does, he's going to lose time for this. And the gen is not going to... It's barely not going to pop. Zafka doesn't finish it. Oh, laser nearly getting a free tech. That was insane prediction. Holy shit. Okay, we can pop the gen. That was so close to completion. Exercise leaves as a hawk. And someone wants to get the next pop. Oh, bro, that was barely not on time. Okay, that was been sick. That base VT. And she's holding a three then. Looks like it. Zaka's probably back on main, right? I would imagine. Are they resetting? It's in an extremely good spot now. And look, like, literally, we had three gens left, by the way. We're not only talking about the standlock. Everyone is injured. We had three gens left. And he started charging the blink too early, didn't he? No, spec is bugged. Got that hard by Zaka, though. So, laser's gonna protect his three gen. And meanwhile, the other survivors are resetting. He kind of wanted to pressure more and, like, kind of, he played very aggressive because everyone was injured. And he kind of predicted that they're gonna reset. Did he leave already? Yeah, he left. Okay. Inner strength. 
Holy shit, he got one ranked. I think Laser really wants to hold this three down, which is like respectable. I feel like the survivors kind of gave up on it though. I feel like at this point, the survivors want to pop two more gens and they kind of gave up on escaping already. Zaka's going corner, very smart. He wants to delay as much as possible. Laser would never blink this. He doesn't have two blinks up, does he? I think the spec UI is very bucked when it comes to blinks. So one reset coming out on Nightlight. Nice. Nightlight is still a thing for the unhook. That's what it seems like. Oh, this is a basement hook. Oh, the death has been found. That is so bad for them. Nice. Laser actually... I'm not sure how, but he found, he found Nightlight. That thing for the unhook. We're going edge map again. That's a one blink. That's going to be extremely hard to get away from. And this is where if you have reach out or not, literally doesn't matter if you one blink. Laser predicting him and waiting it out. Very nice, very nice. Extremely calculated at this point. Axa is already at the hook. So I think Laser knows Axa's location now. And Axa is the only one death hook. The fastest way to end this game is to find Axa. And that's probably what Laser is going for. Yep. Axa has been found. And after he dies, there are only two survivors left. Everyone is injured. Holy shit. Looks like... Looks very, very solid. Solid play, waits out the dead heart. Guys, you have to realize, this was so close. They had that gen 95 in main twice. Like, even closer. Like, 97%. If that gen pops... This would probably be a different game. This just blinks us. No, this guy is insane. Like, he's one of the best. He played Nurse for like hundreds of hours in the competitive setting. Like, he knows how good players move. He's just literally one of the best players. Obviously. Oh, that was a correct prediction. But. And you can always see the tendency of really good players to go towards the edge of the map when they're close to dying so that the nurse wastes more time hooking survivors because that's how you beat the nurse this is how you get time for your team oh that gen is far holy oh Nightlight is trying to improve the result but there's no way i think that's nice this game was on edge and could have gone either way. The nurse used agitation insanely well to carry Jonah literally over half the map inside the gens. Not having add-ons did not seem to matter much at all. Solid victory for nurse. In the last round, we are going all out. No restrictions at all for anyone on Dead Dog Saloon. Alcring and Compound 33 with Lethal Pursuer, Deadman Switch and Painress. And, uh, yeah. Nice pallet, Zaka. Nice pallet. That gave you a lot. Oh my god. And he gets two meters worth of distance. Does he hit that? No, he doesn't. Bro, this is not okay. Oh my god. He's trying to beat him up with a flashlight. All right. Well, I mean, there's, everything is off the table, so the survivors have no rules to. We can't see the scout shocks. Is he going for basement? Oh, they're smart. They played around Deadman Switch. That's very good for them. Break the door. By the way, you can't swing into doors. You will always break them like that. Okay, Deadman Switch activates. I mean, okay, like, yeah, well, I mean, that ring activates. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you just don't... Oh, this is lucky break, but he didn't get away at all. Oh my f***, man. This is not okay. How is this allowed? How? How? Arc ring activates. Like, combat 33, he doesn't get any distance. Like, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Nothing, he's gonna do nothing. He's just gonna die. He's just gonna die. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I mean, what are you gonna do? Okay, they're trying to reset. He does not know about Dan, does he? That is a good stealth by Dan. He probably wants to get the father people out really badly now. I mean, we're looking at four gens close to zero progress, by the way. Like, literally, this guy's about to die at four gens zero progress. 
Yeah, my switch is activated. He doesn't care. No, no, that's active. He's gonna go back. Don't care. Like you can take hits, Arkwing. Okay, this. Oh yeah, Zaka's probably having a great time. Off the record activates it all, but yeah, well, where are you gonna go now? No palace, right? You want it back, Slowbot? Very nice. Like the the information flow on a top tier team is always very interesting to see. <laughs> no way! Okay, you just got demolished. Is someone there? Oh he barely doesn't get it! Like Zaka definitely won that. He barely didn't get that knock, but Oh he gets that! That was so fast! Oh, okay. And now Dan is slow. Lord into oblivion. Dan is so good at those. Look. Yeah, I don't know how he does it, but Dan is literally the best at those. Like, he never loses to those pallets. He literally never does. Ooh, he's delaying a little bit more. Let's, why are the jinx looking like? Okay, one pops. Ooh, bad collision. Does he convert this? Yes, he does. Oh, two gens done though. That's pretty good. Okay, they they got rid of a lot of pressure. So Skirtrack is coming in again. What is it looking like? Nightlet is on main with uh, Hyper Fox and Balanced Landing. Ooh. And Deadman Switch. Exercise is staffing for Darnok. Yeah. Ooh, holy shit. Bro, he doesn't even get it because of the... 3% hindrance, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's ridiculously a lot. Like, the survivors don't get anywhere. It's like, kind of like similar to speed in a way. But instead of you being fast, the survivors are slow. But on top of that, you break pallets at like god speed for no reason at all. Like, why does this add-on exist? I don't think anyone knows, honestly. Like, like in God's name, I don't know why this add-on exists. Okay, Dano comes in, but we get attack and Alkring activates, so good luck, exercise. Oh, we're going for the attack. Bro. Okay, Alkring is ridiculously gone good, by the way, because, like. Oh, he gets that because of the slowdown again! Oh my god. Alkring is so good because he can continuously attack the players that unhook, and he insta gets a 5 star charge back, like the, just like that. I can, I can tell you, Eternal is not happy about this add on. I can assure you that. At this point, they probably know what's up, but... Oh, does he convert this? No. Oh, he doesn't hit that! That was so close to being collidable. Like, one pixel further and he collides that hitbox. Let's see one the mind game. And how the dents looking? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I think Pain West is about to... Destroy the hopes and dreams when it comes to gens. Nyla is dead. I think there's much to be done in terms of gens anymore. There's no progress even. Penos is a brutal park. Brutal. Yeah, Dan waited so long and virtual can't be us. And the hatch spawn is memorized. There's a hatch offering, so there's no energy there to just reduce the amount of time it takes. Otherwise, the player would have to slug. And we would wait, need to wait for four minutes. Right. Oh, shit. Comp 33 is not okay, dude. That's my takeaway from this game is that Comp 33 is not okay. Pure domination. Pallets were useless. Hit tanks impossible thanks to Alkring. Nothing can stop this blight. Let's see what the nurse has to offer. And looks like we have Blinkback and Mangled together with Lethal. Lethal. Right? I'm pretty sure. And no 40 meter blink from the nurse. Oh, that was a crack blink, but Dan is kind of predicting. Nice, fast hit. Coming through, overcome activating. He's gonna run into Gallows. Oh, okay, that's not gonna work. 
All right, Overcome didn't, <laughs> didn't get any value, to be honest. Nightlight is rotating for the... No, that's not Nightlight. Zaka is on here, you no? Know? Virtual is going to stay on his gen, even though he's Deliverance and Zaka is going to go. He's for the people. I would expect that to come out. He's literally being a bush right now. Bro, that's no... What? How did you know? Is he cheating? Did he just see that? Oh! Dude, laser's always failing, finding the... The Sethus. That's insane. Oh, insane that though. Nice. So, Nightlight Unhooked, that's no deli though. And you can see the Mangled coming in hot. It's one of the best add-ons, the green ones, literally. It's one of the best add-ons that Nurse has. Sorry, I was, not, I was not on the spec. He probably saw him through the bush. It's not impossible. I can stop switching so much, I guess. Sorry. Who's being found again? He's full health though. That is attack, nice. Uh, relatively risky blink, but he goes for it. So the idea is that he's gonna overcome out of blink range and then flash at the nurse. And flash at is kinda bucked. So it didn't really work, but I, uh, Dan did a good job. And now he went to a corner. That is very beneficial for him. Off the record? Really? Okay, nice. I didn't even see that. Oh, he went back in time. He lost the 50 50. Dan is not Death Oak, however. So. I'm surprised how little gents they have. Nightlight finished one. Voucher switched to this one. I'm not coming through. For the people. And he's gonna go for Dan. He wants to get Dan out as fast as possible. Oh, he won the main game. The thing is, Dan doesn't have much here. He can burn the nurse though. Hopefully it works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Bad life. Uh, burning the nurse, which is kind of like a major part of the corner play, is currently bugged. So you can't burn the nurse. It only half makes sense in that scenario. Like in a normal scenario, you would force at least one more set of links, but that's not the case here. Okay, here's survives. Completed two gens. There's one more gen on 50. Ooh, that was risky movement, but it paid off from Nightlight. Nightlight is a very good Nars player. Oh, did he just hide in that bush? No way. Okay, the inner blend is coming out. And I think Laser wanted to blink again, but it failed. I mean, skins do matter. You see it. And now it's the question. Can you find people? Zaka's edge map in the bush. And Ada has no hair. What? Okay. Ooh. There we go. There we see the add-on. It kind of faked Zaka out. Actually, it did. Oh, that was so close. He doesn't connect. Can he still take that chase? The double blink is a lot of fatigue. He's going for it. Nice, first hit. And I think this is dead hard, right? I'm pretty sure Zaka had dead hard. Ooh, too late. Yes, Zaka dead hard. He didn't get it off. Very well blinked by laser. Was too fast for him. Okay, nice. Oh, they didn't play around damage switch. Nice oh, going back. He's going to tunnel Zaka, right? Yeah, he got blink blocked. Did you think that Ada was in there? Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the Claudette difference right there. And we're chasing a bot Ada, Ada right now. Ada deciding dying in the right spot is worth more than anything else. Very nice. And Nightlight is being insane right now. Because there's a gen with more progress. Wait, he's being spotted though. Oh. He spotted the clot. Can she get on bush real quick or what? 
Oh, that doesn't connect. What? But he's deciding to leave. Deliverance coming out. Oh, this is looking good. I like where the survivors are at right now. If Nightlight doesn't die inside here. Oh, no value. He went away. Uh, he went away from the original blink location. The survivors are smart. Obviously, now they know it has been called out, and they counterplay to this add-on is to always try to move away from the original blink location. And... Okay. Ah, why? Why is the Ada ball, dude? Where did Virtual go wrong? Ooh, we had one gen left now. Look at this, Cloudlet main. I don't know. I don't know. Nightlight is so insane. He decides it's not worth it. He's gonna go back because he has his gens here. I mean, this is very hard to break this three gen, right? Very hard to break. That's a rage. He decides not to teleport back there. Interesting. And Claudette. He decides to just time to go into that corner. The gen is so close. Do they get this? Painless is coming in though. Ooh, Zaka's gonna play aggressive, right? Probably. They're going so close to the hook though. He sees nah, they're gonna commit the gen, right? Do I? Penris? No! They can't commit! Oh, that is so sad, dude. Yeah, Zaka's gonna play it safe. I think that was the last chance to complete it. No! Hey, that's back on it. That one switch, dude. Okay, Laser decides to reset. I mean, he, he has the gens, he has time, he has everything. He has a hook. Everyone's injured. He can just down him. I think Virtus still has Delhi though. Hold on a second. Probably unbreakable too. You only have one blink. That hard from Zaka, but is he gonna get anywhere? No. Is it right? He needs to juke one. Nice. Oh, the gen is so close! Can they do it? Yeah, they do it! They got the gen. Nice. Okay, he's gonna force the grab, so... I'm gonna guess, yep. Bald Ada, that is virtual. Is opening the gate. Well, Nightlight is going to be hooked and he's going to die. And we have one survivor escaping. This is 11 hook stages. Wow. Uh, the survivors managed to get one person out. I don't think having access to all add ons did much for the nurse overall. Blight, however, became unstoppable, and he even has quite a few strong add-ons that we didn't get to see in this test. If it wasn't for the missed hit on Healing Jonah, this would have ended in a draw, and that's what I feel like this is. Nurse has the better base kit, Blight has the stronger add-ons that scale really well. This leaves the question, who is the strongest killer in Dead by Daylight? In my opinion, the gap between Nurse and Blight is so tiny that I would consider them even now on the high level. Nurse is however a lot easier to play relatively well, which is why I would consider her ahead in terms of overall strength. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, consider leaving a like and subscribe for more showcases like this one.